good afternoon and good evening to all myself who are about in our today's session of automated trading we are continuing to work with the awesome oscillator and the ac2 along with that we will also add the atr in today's session this is the second part with of the algorithm development which we started yesterday i hope you are well familiar with uh, the functionality of the awesome oscillator along with that the acceleration deceleration oscillator and these are uh, more or less uh, the similar kind of uh, the technical indicators but uh, there is a difference between uh, the changes of the direction and uh, the awesome oscillator uh, shows uh, some lag while the ac2 is a uh, bit earlier to warn against the change of direction but uh, both of these are useful and they have to be used in combination to better optimize our algorithm and uh, on top of that we will be adding the atr to uh, help place us the order we will be using the pending order block and uh, for that to place the order according to the relative volatility we are going to use the atr instead of a fixed price in terms of the pips uh before we get started the standard disclaimer again i would like to remind that this is simply a tutorial session and no claim is being made regarding the profitability or otherwise of the algorithms which you will be developing during the today's session and uh, suppose if you want to use any of the algorithm i would suggest that you do extensive trial runs maybe for months and months and even years and also allow it to run on the demo account for sufficient enough time to get a clear cut idea of the efficiency and of course nothing in the webinar is to be constructed as an advice to trade or for any particular setup on that note we start the day as is the customary practice first of all i would uh, give you a brief uh, view of the underlying idea and is the 4 hourly chart and on the 4 hourly time scale we are going to use the awesome oscillator so the basic premise has been that we look for sell trades that is short selling when the awesome oscillators negative values are falling and we look for buy trade when the awesome oscillators positive values are rising and we do nothing when the positive values are falling or when the negative values are rising on top of that the condition of uh, ac2 is defined for hourly time frame so here the trade is going to happen only when the momentum turns from bearish to bullish uh, in that first hour the algorithm will look for the buy trade and when the momentum turns from bullish to bearish the algorithm will look for a sell trade just for that hour and uh, not subsequently and uh, of course the underlying condition of the four hour should be in place so on that a uh, four hourly time frame it will check for the awesome oscillators values and then on the hourly time frame it will check for the ac2 values so it is a uh, fairly simple and to make sure that we don't get caught up in unexpected volatility we have also brought in the condition that the order will be placed as long as uh, suppose it's a sell trade then the order will be placed only till the last tick price is uh, lower than the prior candles high and for a buy trade the orders will be placed as long as the last tick price is more than the candle low so that has been uh, the additional condition so here i will uh, show you on the jforex platform so we are uh, starting uh, on candle so whenever each new candle closes the initialization for the algorithm will happen this is a standard setup for uh, subscribing to the instrument we are going to use the euro usd then the position amount has been defined at 0 these are awesome oscillators blocks defined at 4 hours shift 1 and shift 2 that is the uh, last candle close and the candle prior to that using the sms so we are uh, using the default values no change has been made therein and then coming to the acceleration deceleration oscillator this is uh, defined at hourly intervals and shift 1 shift 
the negative values, positive values, output, and then the historical candle to make sure that the tick value is within the defined range. So we have done that. We have brought in this calculation expression to uh, help make us place the orders, the pending orders, and those will be needed now in today's station. So this has been the setup so far. The positive value should be rising on the four hourly time scale. Then in just last hour, the momentum should have shifted from bearish to bullish. So here it is. And then the last tick tick price for a buy trade. The last tick tick price is supposed to be less than the candle low. So I think in yesterday session I overlooked and I have made a mistake here. So we will correct it today. And uh, sometimes it happens if suppose if any of you happen to notice it, I think uh, you can uh, remind me then and there by writing in the comment section. We all make uh, some mistakes sometimes. So we make the correction in today's session. Last take, take bid, and the take bid should be more than the candle 21's low value it is the buy trade and during the sell trade the last tick tick bid uh, would need to be less than the candle high so we will use this block on the sell side so auto created variable yes the candle 21 and we utilize the candles low value so here we are and now we connect this the negative value should be less than the zero so we have made this change and we take this block on the sell side so this is the buy side and we bring in this block here okay now in uh, today's session we will need to add the ATR and then with the help of that we will do the calculations so here indicator other ATR we got it we now use this ATR to uh, we will be setting up at the daily time frame and uh, shift 1 that is yesterday's ATR value we will be utilizing we make it uh, daily time frame here and the shift will be changed to 0 or oh, sorry 1 we are almost done now we connect this to the calculation expression blocks we bring in the pending open order components trading and the pending open here it is uh, we will be placing the order below the current price so we will use the buy limit okay and now we will need to do further calculation uh, so the requirement let us again go back on chart the requirement is fairly simple so i will show you uh, let us assume the four hourly conditions are fulfilled and here there is too much open volatility so most probably uh, we can place the order uh, i think here also so let us assume that 4 hour conditions are fulfilled and then uh, 12 GMT, 23rd of March, the momentum is in bearish mode. 
then the momentum turns 13 GMT the momentum turns bullish so as soon as the 13 GMT candle closes that is at the start of 14 GMT the algorithm will be ready to place and buy orders so let us check this is 12 GMT this is 13 GMT and our algorithm can execute the trade at 14 GMT so somewhere here so the 13 GMT candle has closed around 1.079 and we don't want the trade to be executed right then and there so what we will do we will uh, we are going to use the 20% of the ATR range and that is defined as the daily time frame so what we will uh, do or what our algorithm will do uh, it will look for uh, 23rd of March so here and uh, we are going to use the ATR value of the yesterday a day prior to the trading day that means the algorithm will be using the ATR value of 22nd March and 22nd March we have the ATR I think again I will need to add the ATR instrument here ATR indicator so let's add it recent indicator ATR it is uh, here okay now let us zoom in a bit so the numbers are clearly visible to you now coming to the okay 22nd March ATR we want the ATR of 22nd March it is uh, 152 pips 0 0.0152 is the value and in pips it turns out 152 pips okay so we want the order to be placed 30 pips below uh, since we are going to use the 20% of the ATR the order will be placed 30 pips below the current price again now let us go back and here oops oh, 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 okay let it remain uh, so where we were we were here and uh, the current value is 1.079 30 pips will be deducted that means uh, 1.0765 should be the approximate value for us so somewhere here and i'm not pretty sure if the price will be touched in that hour or not so suppose if the trading is going to happen the order will be placed somewhere here and uh, six five and uh, unfortunately for us that trade is likely to end up in loss as uh, afterwards the price drops more than 40 pips from there on and then next time around when the trade uh, trend changes again we will be looking for the buy trade somewhere uh, 1 GMT so here and uh, we will place the order below 30 pips from the current value as well to see if the order will be executed and I think it will not be executed so this is the premise for our algorithm and uh, of course not every time we will be making money sometimes loss sometimes profit sometimes the order won't get executed so on aggregate our algorithm should be making money and that's the basic idea behind building the algorithm and then optimizing it as per our requirement now uh, what we do we bring in the last tick tick value and to that we add uh, the we are looking for a buy trade so we use on tick last tick and the tick bid so here we use the 
elastic peak bead value to that we are going to add the 20% of the ATR so we need to bring in the ATR value that is line 31 for the sales side also we are going to need uh, the ATR so we now get away we bring it and we want it to be the 20% so we define a parameter or a variable create new variable it is double okay and the uh, name name should be um, by ATR so let's uh, or execution difference ED and it should be 0 0.2 if you multiply the ATR value by 0 0.2 we will get the 20% of that day's ATR so here we will be utilizing the 20% value okay now we bring in that value ED here and we do we also need that same value for cell side and for cell side we will be adding the t cast we will add while placing the sale order we will subtract while placing the buy order so here a1 plus a2 into a3 and the result of the calculation will be by execution price BP. Okay, so I hope you got a fair bit of understanding of what we have done. We have placed a buy order below. Oh, sorry, here again I missed the silly mistake overlooked. I we are uh, supposed to subtract from the last tick tick bid and uh, for that we need to subtract the A2 that is line 31 that is ATR multiplied by 0 0.2 20% of the ATR from the last tick tick bid value and uh, we get uh, <coughs> pardon me now we go to the sell side but before that we now we will finish uh, let us finish this calculation also at one go we need uh, a1 plus a2 into a3 and we name it as sell execution prime sep okay so both our buy and the sell prices have been determined now we need to calculate the order validity and order validity can be for uh, any number of hours as per your requirement as per your wish so you can go it for one hour two hour three hour ten hours five hours anything any number uh, for uh, today's purpose we will limit it to one hour so the order once placed will remain valid that is uh, it will remain in place for one hour and then uh, it will be cancelled by the system itself you don't have to do anything manually and we bring in the last tick tick time and in one hour there are uh, 3.6 million ticks and uh, so suppose that if we want the order to be valid for one hour what we need to do we simply need to add 3.6 million ticks to the last tick price and it will remain valid for uh, one hour suppose if you want to do uh, the order validity time at two hours then you multiply the 3.6 million ticks by two and then your order will remain valid for uh, two hours you can do it for any number of hours no issues uh, no constraint regarding that so we create a new variable and the variable will be tick time and the value 3.6 million we need to be careful here to get the cal uh, number right the zero should be right and yes 
यार राइट सपोज इफ यू फेल आई एम रॉन्ग यू कैन रिमाइंड मी विद द हेल्प ऑफ कॉमेंट्स बट एज फार एज आई कैन सी एम होपफुली आई एम राइट नाउ वी ब्रिंग इन द टी टी एंड फॉर यूर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई विल क्रिएट वन एडिशनल वेरिएबल एंड वी कैन नेम इट एज ऑर्डर वेल डी टी एंड हियर आई एम यूजिंग सिंपली वन इफ सपोज यू मेक दिस वेरिएबल टू देन द ऑर्डर विल रिमेन वैलिड फॉर टू आवर्स इफ यू कीप इट थ्री द ऑर्डर विल रिमेन वैलिड फॉर थ्री आवर्स लेट एस कीप इट फॉर वन आवर एंड वी This is not required per se, even if I simply add it. But uh, just in case later on you want to use uh, a different time frame, different order validity time, you can do that. So that is the basic premise. And again, we do the addition here. We add time to the last tick tick time. A one plus A two into A three. and here we need to do the variable conversion type conversion and this uh, here you can see that this is uh, those who are well familiar with the coding they must be aware of the type conversion and we need to uh, this calculation is going to be in the it is uh, convertible it uh, it will simply depend on the values which we have put in but here uh, we have used this uh, as double and then it was integer so and we need the last result in the long format so we simply create the variable here we name it as ovt or the validity time and we save it and then we want the values to be in the long format long time so we make the changes there and we have got our uh, order almost done now the instrument is going to remain the same the amount to can let us keep it at 1 0.1 million the slippage will be 2 pips stop loss ah uh, stop loss is a tricky business and uh, we keep it at 20 pips and uh, the take profit we keep it at 40 pips One is to two ratio. I hope it will do a fair bit of job. Basically, uh, while determining the optimum target and the stop loss price, you just have to look at the uh, test data, how you are uh, getting the test results, and also uh, the underlying instrument's volatility. These days, the volatility is damn high, but uh, in normal times. the 20 and the 40 pips combination should work fine for the for the euro usd and uh, that is the reason and now we want the last tick tick bid to be greater than the candle low and that's why we are going to make sure the plastic tick bid is greater than the candle low and here our buy side is complete now now we do the same for the sell side so again we will need how many we will need three e blocks so let it uh, let us bring the three blocks we bring it closer to our requirement is fairly simple we want the negative values to be falling on the four hourly time frame then 
there should be the trend change so we take the shift one value last uh, candle negative value and it should be less than the prior candles negative value again it should be less so here the first input is less than the second input and then we check for uh, the hourly setup we want the candle prior to the last candle penultimate candle should have shown a positive value of the acceleration deceleration that is it was in uh, that means it was in uh, bullish momentum though the momentum might have been subsiding we are not concerned with that the positive value was greater than zero so we need first input greater than the second input and then we check the same thing we for our list setup and here we need the negative value to be less than the zero and uh, our algorithms requirements are mostly fulfilled now okay so let us go back to the sell side build and there here and uh, the last tick tick bid should be less than the second input raise candle high and then we bring in the values here and now we bring in the pending open and for that uh, we will need uh, the trading blocks and here we will need to place the order sell limit we are going to place the order above the current value so we make it sell limit and we use the sell execution price and we use the instrument setup as we did with the buy side we place it at 0.1 million slippage 2 pips should be good enough stop loss same 20 pips take profit at 40 pips and the order validity for one hour so we are almost done with our uh, setup let us export it and do some trial run for maybe two three days let us see how it responds to our requirements and we go negative value should be less than the positive value so that's it that's the buy and the sell side both the sides are symmetrical for our requirement and one is buy limit another is sell limit so we save the file and we export it to the java format
in Java format to the VFRX platform. March 25th, we save the file and we import the same file here. Here. First, we will need to compile the file, the algorithm. We compile it. Compilation successful, that is, uh, the code uh, is readable. And now we do the test run. Visual mode account okay. Instrument your USD no issues, and we just do it for previous week. If the test run is slow, we will do it for maybe a day or two, and then we will stop it. So we are good to go. And the uh, deck pocket is 40. Slippage is 2 pip. Trade amount is 0 0.1 million. Top loss is 20 pips. Let's see what kind of trading the algorithm would have done last uh, week. This is our equity level. And the algorithm has started trading. And there was but it didn't execute here. You can notice. The test run is, uh, is not that too slow, so I think we can do it for a minute or two and then we are done for the day. So far, two orders were placed, but it uh, didn't execute, and our equity is uh, the, the same levels. That is, our uh, design has been uh, successful, the trading is happening them is checking for the requirements as the requirements have been defined and placing the orders whenever the conditions are being fulfilled but so far the again third order was like but uh, it didn't do this time also one more order and uh, we are reaching the end of the week let's see in the last half of the trade will be done or not so far, as far as uh, I think, no trade would have happened during the last week, and that's it. So let us take a look on the report. Here is the report for last week. So the initial deposit and the finished deposit is the same and no trading happened. So the order total here you can see that four orders were placed but none of the order got executed and uh, the later on after uh, the order validity time is over all these orders were cancelled. So uh, if you want to use this algorithm, you should do trial runs, test runs for many, many days, many, many months, many, many years also, and then you can utilize it if uh, you feel it is profitable enough. So I have again, uh, I would like to thank you all for joining in. Have an excellent time ahead. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.